Hello everyone, Lorenzo here from RVT. These are pictures I took every time someone worked on the house. I started working, I started taking pictures a little after they erected the walls since I didn't think about it sooner. I'm going to uh, tell you my honest opinion about Tills and Homes. But before I do, I'm going to tell you right now that I'm not getting paid or anything like that even though <laughs> I sure was I was. But uh, if you do decide to visit them, just tell them that the guy from YouTube sent you. They're probably going to be like, who? <laughs> Anyways, uh, this is what I uh, think about this builder. From the, from the very beginning, I was treated respectfully even when they knew we didn't, have, we didn't own any land. So a shout out to you, Darla. Uh, the main contractor was very nice. He was a very nice guy down to earth. He knew his stuff, paid a lot of close attention to detail. Uh, I sometimes found little things that needed attention, but most of the times he already knew about them. So shout out to you, Josh. Um, by the way, when you got the cutting board you mentioned, but it's all good. <laughs> I still have those little leftover pieces that I picked up from the uh, dump area. But let's talk about what's going on right now and what has happened since we moved in. Josh did explain, did explain that uh, we may get some cracks here and there, especially if you do the stained concrete. I also knew this, so the, uh, they did show up uh, after they poured the foundation and a couple more after we moved in. They're, they're long, probably about a hair line or two in separation, but again, I knew about this, and this is Texas, so they're going to happen no matter what. The the thing that I encountered a little after we moved in was a light that kept going out after five to ten minutes being on. It was in my son's bedroom. I kept forgetting to submit a warranty request on the on the website. But that by the way is very easy and simple to do. But once I did submit it one, they responded with within a week. Um, they told me to check about maybe replacing the light bulb. But after I took out the frosty glass or cover off, I saw three small little light bulbs that it wouldn't make sense when they all go out at the same time. The fan had no issues at all. So I responded and explained about the three light bulbs and going out at the same time. I can't remember uh, if they did respond to my email or they called me back about this rescheduling the warranty guy to come out and, buy, and replace the uh, fan and light fixture. But the time was great. Uh, the time frame was great for me at that time. The negative thing is that if you work Monday to Friday like I do, you had to pick up. Uh, you had to pick a day <laughs> that you can actually take off from work because they don't work on the weekends. I just happened to be off that already because the internet guy was supposed to come out and uh, and work on that same day. So the second issue we had was about it three weeks ago, actually four weeks ago, something like that. My wife submitted another warranty request and this was about the shower grout. It started to come off from the bottom corners of the master shower and the same warranty guy came by and very nice guy, can't remember his name, um, but he came by and recalcated the entire area um, where, it was, where it wasn't even needed. One thing that bothered my wife was the shower glass. One of the ladies at the Tilson home home uh, office, not mentioning any, any names, told my wife that they were going to install friendliness glass in the master shower. Well, my wife asked if they were installing friendliness glass, and the lady said yes. My wife probably lost some sleep over this, or, or I probably woke up I heard screaming about the class, <laughs> but uh, but she was uh, still disappointed that they uh, didn't install the uh, frameless glass on it. Um, we had a lot of questions during the planning, so I can really confirm if she, if my wife asked the question or not. I just can't remember. It's been maybe over a year since we were planning. Oh, I don't really, I don't really, really remember 
some of the planning well that's all i have for you and i hope i didn't forget it something so here's the last walk walk through on the uh, inside right after we signed our closing contract and moved in so enjoy this hello everyone lorenzo here from rbt I fi we finally signed for the house we signed everything this is our house now so uh, i'm just gonna show you around the house and uh, so you can check it out and uh, we are very excited about it, so I'll walk you through it. So I'm currently in my garage right now. Um, they're they're done with all this. This is some mistakes they did. So I told them that if I can, I asked them if I can keep it. They said yes. Uh, I also got some carpet that they threw away, and I just grabbed it and uh, in case if I need it anywhere or. Put it around if I have visitors or something. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I bought this freezer. We decided to go with the freezer like this, and then we got a full size, um, full size uh, refrigerator. Now I'm walking to the mud room from the from the garage. This is the uh, pantry. Room. Now this is the uh, kitchen, and this is our refrigerator we got from uh, this uh, place that they, they're damaged, but they're brand new. Uh, the only damage that this refrigerator had was uh, right there and right here, and we got it for like only six hundred bucks. Uh, it's a Electrolux. Full size refrigerator in the here, and then we don't use the freezer too often. Only when we store stuff, you know, stuff in there. But mostly we use the refrigerator, so that's why we decided to go with the freezer in the garage. And this is it, it is it's the same brand too, Electrolux, from what we have here. Here's a dishwasher. It's got a little light inside it. Farm sink. Now this light bulb belongs to that right there. Um, we have a matching, I installed those right there. Um, we told them that I need them capped so I can put my own lights in here. And these lights came from my old house that I used to have. Um, they're cast iron and they're like really old, I think. I believe there is like a tag inside it. Not a tag, but something in there that says that they're from the 1930s or something like that. Uh, these light bulbs, we gotta replace them. I just put that temporarily on here. Uh, we, I'm gonna put some. Uh, some old fashioned light bulbs, like with a little wire and stuff, so it looks pretty nice. Uh, that's the kitchen, and I have the matching uh, chandelier that goes over here. It, is it gonna see a little higher than that? It's gonna see, sit about right there where the ring is. And uh, it's gonna match that one right there. It's got five, except that. The one from over here, it's got five, five of those. And anyway, that's the uh, fireplace. There's a floor, stained concrete. Main entrance. Now it's like almost like 98 degrees outside so I'm just gonna show you the inside first and then I'll walk around the outside even though I don't want to I'm, I'm still gonna do this so I can show you guys <laughs> the house start a train a thermostat in here apparently you can uh, uh, we, we decided to bring those the washer and dryer 
This is a hallway and that goes into the attic and I'm not going up there. It's so freaking hot outside, so. This one over here is the, uh, let me turn on the, off the fan. Oh, wrong one. The uh, main uh, bathroom of the house. It's because of storage right here. You see, that's from the inside of the, the bathroom. This closet right here is for to store things, and uh, right there, that panel is so so you can hook up the uh, uh, what you call it, the internet and all that stuff, Ethernet cable. It all comes in here. They pre-wire everything for the uh, cable company so they can just come over here and hook it up now they, they, they recommend I don't put the modem over here even though there's a plug in here because you know you only got two small vents and I think it requires more than that but I wasn't planning on putting it in there anyway but I'll probably put it in the center of the house and this is the uh, I guess the uh, spare bedroom Closet. Now, this is the uh, Carlton 4. We made it into a Carlton 3 because we got rid of one bedroom. <laughs> but you can, that's one thing about this builder. They give you the plants and then you can alter and mess with them however you want it. That's why the mud room. That's where the you, the, the uh, laundry room used to be. There's a walk-in closet in the plan, and that's that. I guess the AC guy forgot to uh, take the plug off. I guess he was testing the uh, air conditioner. I need to call him about that. I'm gonna turn off these lights before I go anywhere. Now we're moving here this weekend, and it's been Tuesday since we signed to this Friday, and uh, can wait until we move into this house. I mean, we've been spending a lot of time in the trailer, and right now it's so freaking hot in there. Even though we have two AC units, it's still too hot. Oh yeah, I forgot to show you guys the uh, pocket door. There's the uh, pocket door right there, it's out of the way. That's how we designed this. So you, in case if you, you know, you open the door right there, it's not going to be on the way over here. And it's also not going to be over here on the, on the hallway. So that's why we put a pocket door there. <clears throat> and we can actually lock that door right there. So, no I mean, if you have visitors or whatever, they won't, they won't be wandering here in the uh, laundry room. And I, I can also lock that door to the laundry room. So in case if we have somebody visiting or whatever, you know, they will be able to come into the into this bathroom, into the master bathroom. This is my uh, office <laughs> right here. This also has a pocket door. This one, they all have fans, even in the uh, laundry room over here. 
so the moisture wouldn't be wouldn't be in here. The uh, the bathroom over there have one too. And that's my sink. And this is my wife's sink. There's a shower uh, area. All the way to the ceiling, towel goes all the way to the ceiling. This is the master closet. Walk-in closet. Master bedroom right here. We're thinking about buying curtains. Uh, we're not sure yet. We probably put curtains or shades. I'm not sure yet. This is our view from our bedroom. Just to go outside from our bedroom. Now later on, I want to put like some kind of a wooden deck over here, um, so it won't be like this. Um, and then I want to extend it that way. My wife doesn't agree with it, but once she sees it, then she's gonna be okay, I guess. <laughs> and that's it. That's the uh, house from the uh, inside. Yeah, I love that area right there. This is my uh, the area we're gonna spending be spending most of the time is here. So I love that over there. How it turned out. All right, I'm gonna uh, go ahead and uh, walk you on the outside. I'll be right back. All right, so this is the uh, outside of it. It's kind of like really sunny out here today, so I don't know if you're gonna be able to see. And it, it just rained, it's muddy. It's like ugly right now, but. You get the idea. Pretty much the same thing as what what you've seen before. We still had to work on the grass and all the stuff, so I wanted to wait on that before I rec I did this video. But some some of you are requesting this, like so. I'm trying to uh, go ahead. I guess I can. I'm just gonna go ahead and put it out. And uh, yeah, <laughs> I moved the fire pit from all actually, my son did from over there to here. Still had to put some blocks on here, but this is my wife's little hangout area. Sits over there. There's a little one in there. <laughs> Everything is overgrown right now, but... Well, here it is, the outside of the house. If I have it too close, I'm sorry, but I was just trying to get out, out uh, away from the sun and... Um... But that's it. Well, thank you for watching, and uh, I hope you like this series of this uh, house. And uh, make sure you like and subscribe. And and that's it. Thank you. Goodbye.